Now we will study some more about salts. As you already know that salt is formed by the combination of acid and base to form salt and water. So, an activity can be performed by you all. A list of salts is given to make a table. Write the formula of the various salts. Also, identify from which acid or base it is formed. So, here the result of certain salts has been tabulated. Potassium sulphate. So, what is the formula of potassium sulphate? It is K2SO4 and from which base and acid it is formed? It is formed by KOH and H2SO4. Similarly, sodium sulphate formula is Na2SO4 and the base is NaOH and H2SO4. The third salt is calcium sulphate formula is CaSO4 base is CaOH whole twice and the acid is H2SO4. The fourth salt is magnesium sulphate formula is MgSO4 and the base is MgOH whole twice and the acid is H2SO4. Then copper sulphate CuSO4 base is CuOH whole twice and acid is H2SO4. Sodium chloride, the formula uh, all of you must be knowing it is NaCl, it is common salt used in the kitchen also makes the food tasty without it you cannot eat the food and the base from which it is formed is NaOH and the acid is HCl. Sodium nitrate, its formula is NaNO3 base is NaOH and the acid is HNO3. Sodium carbonate formula is Na2CO3 base is NaOH and the acid is H2CO3. Ammonium chloride formula is NH4Cl base is NH4OH and the acid is HCl. All of you can do this activity yourself. Simply write the names of the salts and rest you fill the table yourself. So, it will uh, make you perfect. You can learn the formula also without uh, seeing anywhere, without consulting the book. Write it yourself. Write the basis and the acid from which the salt is formed. Also, another activity we can perform in the lab also and some activity just by sitting on the table from the formula only and a part of the activity can be performed in the lab. Now, here in this table also, this has also to be tabulated, the results have to be tabulated. The certain salts are given and you have to write the formula. Now, in this first of all you can perform an activity and make a table. Of course, you make a table of the salts, rest you can do later and make the salt solutions in water, dissolve them and also find out which of the salts are soluble in water, which salts are not soluble in water. So, this activity can be performed in the lab and also you can test whether the salt solution is acidic or basic or neutral with the help of blue and red litmus paper and also you can use, you can find out the pH, you can use the universal indicator paper and you can find the pH of the solution also in the activity in the lab. Then you can write, make the table, you can write the formula, also you can write from which base and acid it has been formed. Like sodium chloride, we have done earlier also, it is, its formula is NaCl, it is common salt as all of you know. It is formed from NaOH and HCl. Now, NaOH is a strong acid, HCl is also a strong acid. When you test it with blue litmus paper or red litmus paper, you will find that it is neutral. It neither changes the color of blue litmus paper nor the color of red litmus paper. It is neutral and also the pH is 7. So, both are strong acids. It is a neutral salt. It is the salt of strong acid and strong base. Calcium nitrate, its formula is KNO3. 
It is formed from base KOH and acid HNO3. Now KOH and HNO3 both are strong. KOH is a strong base, HNO3 is a strong acid and here also the salt is neutral as in the previous case. So, these are the salts of strong acid and strong base and they are called neutral salts which neither turn the color of blue litmus paper or red litmus paper and pH is also 7. The third type of salt is aluminum chloride, its formula is AlCl3. It is formed from a weak base aluminum hydroxide and a strong acid HCl. Now, when it is tested with blue litmus paper, it turns the color of blue litmus paper to red, showing thereby that the aluminum chloride salt solution is acidic in nature, right. So, these are acidic salts. Base is weak, acid is strong. So, acidic salts are formed by the combination of weak base and strong acid. They are acidic in nature, their salt solution in water is acidic in nature and these salts also zinc sulphate, copper sulphate are other examples of acidic salt. Zinc sulphate is formed from ZNSO4 is the formula and the base is ZNOH whole twice and the acid is H2SO4. It is acidic. Similarly, copper sulphate CuSO4 formed by weak base copper hydroxide and strong acid H2SO4. So, the third type of salt is this sodium acetate. Let us see what is the nature of sodium acetate, what is its formula? Its formula is little bit complicated as you can see. It is CH3 COO whole twice Na. It is formed by the combination of a strong base NaOH and a weak acid acetic acid CH3 COOH. And when it is tested, its salt solution is tested with red litmus paper, the color of the red litmus paper changes to blue, showing thereby that the salt solution is basic in nature. So, these are basic salts, these are called basic salts. Sodium acetate is a basic salt formed by the combination of weak acid and a strong base. These are some more examples of basic salts. Sodium carbonate, the formula is Na2CO3 formed by the combination of a strong base NaOH and a weak acid H2CO3, carbonic acid. It is basic in nature. Sodium hydrogen carbonate baking soda formula is NaHCO3 formed by the combination of a strong base NaOH and a weak acid H2CO3 that is carbonic acid. This is basic in nature. Also one more thing we can see that here this is sodium chloride and this is sodium acetate, sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate. So, sodium is common in all these. So, these are all sodium salts we can say family of sodium salts. Now, here in we can take this case zinc sulphate, copper sulphate, what is common? Sulphate is common here. So, this is a family of sulphate and are called sulphates. In general, we can call them as sulphates because sulphate is common in both, right. Sodium acetate there is no other salt so like this we can we can see this this side also uh, potassium sulfate sodium sulfate calcium sulfate magnesium sulfate copper sulfate so these are all sulfates family of sulfates right similarly sodium sulfate sodium chloride sodium nitrate sodium carbonate these are all sodium salts right if there is a carbonate in the like this carbonates. So, these are this is a family of carbonates if there are some more carbonates like sodium hydrogen carbonate. So, they are all called carbonates right and sodium hydrogen carbonate is called hydrogen carbonate that is a different family in fact like uh, potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate will be a family of carbonates. 
like sodium chloride, aluminum chloride or potassium chloride, they will form chlorides. So, like this or nitrates, potassium nitrate, sodium nitrate. So, this will form nitrates, a family of nitrates. So, like this also we can uh, call the salts as chlorides, nitrates, sulphates, carbonates, hydrogen carbonates, right. If anything is common in them, if sulphate is there, SO4 is there, it will form sulphates. If in the salt CO3 is there, they are called carbonates. If in the salt NO3 is present, it is called nitrates. It is a family of nitrates. If it CO3 is present, carbonates. If HCO3 is present, they are called hydrogen carbonates. In uh, this, we can uh, also have one more uh, like calcium bicarbonate. CaHCO3 whole twice. So, calcium bicarbonates and sodium hydrogen carbonate both will be called bicarbonates. So, like this forms a family of salts and uh, they can be called by various names.